Welcome to the replay, you beautiful people. The beautiful people, beautiful people. All right, so this is possibly... My voice just cracked like I'm in puberty. But this is quite possibly the latest Ken from the car I have ever done. It's like 6.15, which means an e on those kids are so cool. They're in a Jeep. All right. Okay, so... Like I said, possibly the latest Ken from the car I've ever done. If you are not familiar with what... Hello, milady. If you're not familiar with Ken from the car, it is Ken from the car. Soon to be called something different. Um, it started because I was at work and I was in a bank and I couldn't do videos in the bank because of privacy. And so I started going out to my car. And then I did them in my um driveway for a little bit of time but our service was no good so i found a secret spot in el spokane where i'm at and then i started going in a neighborhood and i think people thought i was like a pedophile or something i don't know what they thought i was um so i'm scared to go in that neighborhood and now i'm in a different spot because i don't want to get suspicious don't be suspicious ken anyways so welcome to ken from the car I sounded like a leprechaun. Who am I going to Ken Fentica? <laughs> All right. So for those of you who don't know, you're probably picking up now. Not everyone's flavor. Not everyone likes me. <laughs> so, and I am extra riled up today. I don't know why, but I am. Probably because I'm so excited for what's coming. But anyways, um, number one, I just want to let you guys all know, I cannot keep my focus because I have ADHD and it's bad. And... Towards the evening, my meds wear off, so woo, those that's fun. Um, and maybe it's because it's Fourth of July. I don't know. So it's hard for me to stay on topics, but I have notes. Look at my notes, you guys. Look how cute they are. I even have the turtles. <laughs> oops, oops. All right. Um. So, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This channel is going through a brand, uh, we're going to talk about that. Those people were walking towards me and they're like, that guy looks like a freaking turned around. <laughs> oh, well. All right. First and foremost, welcome. I'm sorry this is a little late, but I have been, it has been nonstop crazyville. We're going to talk about it. So I couldn't do it yesterday because it was the first of the month and we we're going to talk about that. And then I was going to do it today, but at like my normal time, but it's just been crazy, right? And um, there is a lot of Jeeps in this neighborhood. That's the third Jeep. Anyways, um, I always get this question, so I'll let you guys know. All the links are down below. Sean's here to help with links and anyone else that wants to. Yay. Um, I drink ice. This is opal ice. This is what... Um, ice people like i just want to let you guys know i don't have a vitamin d deficiency or a special k or a element of p q r s i just like ice i like to chew as you can see look at my fingernails bad habit um but i love this ice and then this is called desert pear yeah, desert pear, I get it, at URM, and I don't drink it all, because that's sugar, which is wasteful, because what I do is I let it kind of, you know, like, melt, and then I kind of dump it out. I know it's wasteful, but we tried saving it one time, and then Sean said I was making wine. <laughs> wine? <laughs> all right, so, a couple things. Number one, which we're going to talk about. Ken from the car is fun, but it, we have to be careful. Because um, YouTubes are getting canceled, man. We are living in a cancel culture. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to be careful. So um, so as you guys are doing, say hello. Um, I'm going to kick this off. We're, we always talk about sales and stuff. But someone is here to help me talk about sales. I'm not even kidding you. Are you guys so excited? <laughs> This is when people should be scared because when I start talking to things that aren't here, because if you watched last week's Come From The Car, I am telling you guys, I'm not okay. Like I am cooped up in my house with these five personalities in my head. I really feel like 
Inside Out was a documentary about me. And I have five heads. I have joy. I have sadness. I have anger. Did someone just honk? Whatever. I have fear. I have all of them. But today, I have someone that is going to help me tell you about the sales. I'm so excited for this, you guys. You have no idea. And yes, I realize I am a 40-year-old man. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't be a kid in the inside. So are you ready to see? cutest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the Sensi Baby Yoda. I ordered him and he's already out of stock. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. He's so cute. So he wants, he wants to tell you about, okay, I have to put him down when cars are coming because people are going to look at me. <laughs> Can they see this guy sitting in his car with his hand up a Yoda track? <laughs> like, this is what they see. <laughs> oh, man, they're gonna freaking call the cops on me. Oh my god, he's so cute. So, he wants you to know that all these sales... So Yoda, baby Yoda would like you to know that if you use any of the links down here, we might get compensated, but, um, specifically Amazon, I have to say something just a sec. I already lost my notes. I got so excited about baby Yoda. Well, where do, oh, it's right here. All right. Baby Yoda says the child, um, now I've lost it. Just a sec. Seriously. There's a lot of Jeeps here. Okay. Just a sec. Baby, I don't want you to know. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. I'm not 50 years old. Or is Baby Yoda 50 years old? You're 50? He's so cute. All right. Okay, thanks, Baby Yoda, for helping me out. All right. So before we get talking about the rest of our week, let me go to my iPads and my notes. Um, this is a, a um, I call... This is an app called Notability, and I love it. You can do so much cool stuff. I have notes for Ken from the car. I have notes for everything. So that way, because those of you who know what ADHD is, we sometimes forget things, and then we have moments of amazing, like, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. And then, because we have ADHD, in 10 minutes, we forget about it. And then, like... <laughs> A month from now, I'll be like, oh my gosh, we have a good idea. And Sean will be like, you already had that idea. And I'm like, well, I forgot about it. So it's like I rediscovered it, right? Okay, so, oh my gosh. You want to also know why I'm so excited? Is <laughs> I'm like, oh. Uh, Chalk tour in nine days, I get to find out the new products. I think I have some insights, but I'm not going to tell you why. Because, well, I will. You know what? I'm not ashamed. So Christine, who's the CEO, showed a Chocotour catalog and she lifted it up and then she put it down. So what it can do, I downloaded that video. I put it into Final Cut Pro. I put it in slow-mo and I slowed it down so I can see stuff in the catalog. And I think I know some stuff coming. It's very fuzzy, kind of like my mind right now. But I think I know some stuff, and I'm so excited, but I'm so scared to say anything because I'm afraid I'll get in trouble. So you didn't hear from me, but I did slow down, and I have some ideas, and I, if I'm right, which I think I am, I told Sean my ideas, and he agrees with me. Uh, why didn't you think of that? That was the first thing I thought of, was like, we're downloading this video, slowing it down, and you can see stuff. I'm just saying. So anyways, um... I'm so excited because on the 15th, a new catalog is coming out. And this catalog is the best catalog ever because it has Halloween. It has Christmas. It has Thanksgiving. It's got all the fall goodness. It's going to have fall colors. We already know there's a new color coming out called... Um, what is it called? It's not Yankee. Oh, Colonial. Colonial Blue. 
you want to see stuff? I'm telling you. I don't know. I I just know that she turned to the surface page and I saw some new surfaces that I think I saw. I for sure saw something on the back cover. I'm just saying it. Do not mark my word. But on the back cover, I'm just saying it looks like there's door tags. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. I hope I don't get in trouble. It was very digitalized, but if it's if we're getting door hanger cutouts, I'm gonna I'm gonna poop. Just saying right now. Just letting you guys know. So, anyways, um, so if you want to get that catalog, let me know. There is a form down below that um uh you can fill out. Here's the reason why I have this form, because if any of you are chalk tour people, don't tell Christine I did this. I will deny it. I will deny it. I will say I have a doppelganger out there in a car sitting somewhere, and I will deny it. But to my defense, she did put the catalog up and then down. I mean, that's public, right? So anyways, so the reason I'm asking if you guys want a catalog, if you're a customer, Club to remember all that stuff, we get to order them on July 10th, and I need to know how many to order, because the last time we did catalogs, it was, oh gosh, I already have a, a message. Okay, good, it's not. <laughs> okay, so um, last time we shipped out 248 catalogs, so I just need to know how many catalogs I need to order. So if you want one, fill it out. We do them free of charge and shipping free of charge. The only thing we ask is that if you decide to join Chalk Couture as a Club Couture member or a designer, or you shop Chalk Couture, that you choose us as your designer. And by us, I mean me, Ken's Creations, and Sean, but technically he's not a designer. Okay. Um, okay. Now listen. Listen. Yoda says listen. Listen. They, they haven't, they have posted um, the retirement list. Right? So, the retirement list has been posted. They're retiring angled squeegees. I don't use it. Maybe that's why. They're like, Ken, because we don't need it. <laughs> um, they're retiring it. Which leads me to believe, number one, we're getting some new tools. But number two, there's going to be some upset people. They're also retiring some paste colors, a lot of transfers. Oh my gosh. Which means a lot of new stuff's coming. So... If you have not watched my three ways to experience Chalk Couture, the link is down below. You can see, you can join our um, team, which is awesome, right? You want to be um, a join our team. Um, you can be a Club Couture member and get exclusive benefits, including a discount and sale and deals. So low, I can't even say it in a public format. Um, or you can just purchase from us. So anyways, down below, make sure you fill out that catalog link because I know I used to be like one of those people that was like, oh, you don't need a catalog. You can just look at a digital. Okay, well, now I see why. I need to mark it. I need to circle it. I need to cross it off. I need to write ideas. I need all of it. So number one, request that catalog. Number two, if you are a Club Couture member, I sent you an email today. But as soon as the catalog comes out digitally, which will be on the 10th, um, we'll order the physical catalogs. It'll take about a week to get here. But then my Club Couture members, make sure to fill out your order forms because you guys all know you get a special discount. So anyways, um, I'm super excited for this catalog. So excited. Um, the app I use is called Notability. And it looks... Wait a minute. It's this little icon with a little pencil. Blue with a background. I even have Sean using it. All right. So, Okay. I'm so excited. So, as many of you guys know, um, we are launching Ken's beautiful, crazy life. And one of the things we are flirting with is, well, we're not flirting with it. We're doing it. We have started a new group called Ken's Beautiful, Crazy Life. Um, and it is called, what would I call it? I'm, I'm so excited. I forgot it. I think I called it um, Bundles, Deals, kits and cutouts. So this will be a group where I'm going to be posting um, kits. I'm going to be posting bundles and deals, and I'm going to be doing cutouts. And the first, we're flirt. We're, the very first one where those two cats are in heat. <laughs> Everyone's so excited. <laughs> There's going to be a little baby kitten soon. 
<laughs> That's great. Oh, can't they just like go behind a bush? <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. <sighs> There's another Jeep. I'm telling you guys, this is like Jeep Central. Um, so Nancy, yes, designers can join this group because it's not a chalk couture group. But don't join the group if you're a designer and you just want to like turn me in on stuff. Even though I don't do anything bad, I just, I don't have enough time my day to deal with that. Okay, so the first bundle is... This little gnome. So, I am doing a bundle of the gnome. Let me tell you, this gnome you can purchase as a bundle, cut out, and scored. I want to make it very clear. And I'll show you everything you get with it. This bundle comes with 55 pieces. They will not be painted. They will not be assembled. And you can either do one in the shadow box frame or without the shadow box frame. Couple things. Number one, um... I'll tell you everything in the bundle. Two, um, I'm limit. I'm trying to limit it one per household, so that way um, we can uh, make sure everyone gets one that wants one. Also, it could be first come first serve because I don't know how many of these I can uh, do in a short period of time since we're just trying this out. Um, and so they're not painted. They're not put together. Um, the form is down below. By filling out the form, you're not purchasing anything yet because I'm not going to send out the confirmation. Don't get hit, cat. Well, they're done doing their thing because it almost got hit. Man, people scream down this road. Okay. So, um, the reason I'm not shipping to Canada, uh, isn't because I don't love you people. Uh, I love my Canadians. You guys just had Canadian day. Uh, but a lot of stuff is getting held up in customs for weeks. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. Number two, um, the prices I'm going to quote include shipping. And what I'm going to do is you're just going to fill out the form for now. And then I'm going to send you an email once we are ready. Now, please keep in mind, I did have about 28 people already purchase these from my Chalkathon. So they will be first come. But I will have enough to do more after that. So if you um, filled out, if you already committed to one of these during a recreate for my Chalkathon, you do not need to fill this out. You guys already have secured. So let me show you what comes in the bundle. So the first bundle for um, $35, and that's with shipping, very exciting, right? Will come with the following. So you will get um, a gnome base. Then you get a gnome scored. So you have the base and the score to make it kind of pop up, right? How cute is that? Okay. On top of that, now I did not uh, assemble these because I wanted to show you all the pieces, but I'll show you um, what it is. You're also going to get an extra nose. Why? Because your gnome needs to pop out. Look at his little nose. I lost it. Oh, all right. <laughs> You're also going to get cute little extra pair of shoes because you want his shoes to pop out. Look at it. So you get this. You'll also get a little extra patch for his hat and a little tiny poof. I don't know what this is called. I'm calling it a poof. Um, whatever it's called, I don't know. You're getting an extra one. So you'll get a little tiny patch. You'll get a little tiny poof, an extra nose, and an extra pair of shoes. So you get all of this, right? Oh, wait, there's more. You will also get... I have to grab them all. There's a lot of them. You're going to get 24 interchangeable designs for your gnome. Not even killing you. Killing you? Not even kidding you. So you're going to get a little elf guy. You'll get an egg. A popsicle. 
birthday cake. A ghost. A little fish. Starbucks coffee. Little RV. Football. Pencil. Candy cane. Ooh. A little leaf. Sunflower. Hanukkah and dreidel dreidel. Star. A Christmas tree. A heart. Watermelon. A shamrock. Birthday cake. A U.S. flag. Witch's hat. Snowflake. And a pumpkin. So there's 24 total. But there is more. Because you guys know me. I like things to have extra dimension. So you're also going to get 24 sets of extra hands. Why? Well... When you get this and put it together, you're going to have the base, right? You're going to hot glue on your gnome. See? Look at how cute he is. You have all these hot glued on so you can have this. Well, I also want you to be able to really add a little extra to your pieces. And you will get extra hands for every single holiday. So, you get all these little extra hands so it looks like this. So that way, all you have to do is paint it, glue it, and buy magnets. Now, we are looking at options for magnets, um, but if you want to buy your own magnets, you can. But this is what the whole completed thing would look like. Isn't that cute? Here comes an old man to talk to me. I'm not even kidding you guys. Oh, geez. What am I going to tell him? So yeah, it's kind of cool, right? So there's two different options you can choose. There is an option one, which is um, with the box frame or the option two, which is without the box frame. So you can actually do um, either of them. The form is down below. Oh good, he didn't talk to me, good. So this is what it looks like once it's all done. Normally these little hands would be interchangeable so you can take them out and then change them for the next season. So here is the whole thing. So if you just want the gnome kit, which is all 55 of these pieces, it's $35. If you want the one with the box frame, it is $45. That includes shipping and handling. I do have a limited number. I don't know how many that is yet because I have to acquire the pieces and of course cut them and ship them and stuff. But this is going to give us a way to test out future bundles. So you want to make sure you're part of that new group I'm talking about. So that new group is down below. It is called um, Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life Deal Sales Bundles and Cutouts, I think. So fill out that form. Um, and like I said, it'll be first come, first serve. So the form actually puts them in order uh, and stuff. So there's that for you guys. So let's talk about sales really quick. And then I do have other stuff I want to chat to you about. Um, 651. You guys know I love 651 vinyl. They're my favorite. Thank you guys, everyone that has been showing them love. I've got so much amazing news from Troy just saying that um, when people call in and get help, they talk about you and they say, oh, we watched Ken from the car and that's how we found out about you. So that just warms my heart. So... Um, if you uh, use our link down below, it helps support us. Get five, get you 5% off everything. And now they carry Tim Holtz alcohol inks. They have all of his inks. They have the alcohol storage tins. They have all of your accessories. So like your alcohol pads, all of the uh, daubers, the little handle daubers. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm really excited for a couple of reasons. Number one, I love 651 vinyl. But I'm also excited. This is a little bit of a sneak peek or clue for you. Um... We spent a good year thinking about coming out with our own stamp line, ink line, paper, vinyl, and all of that stuff. And um, I decided not to do that, but I wanted to make sure I found a partner that I could refer people to that want ink and paper and stuff. Because 
I love Amazon, but I love small business. I love supporting other businesses, but I'm very picky on customer service. I'm very picky on um, shipping times and 651 nails, all of that. So the more stuff I've literally sent them, like, can you carry this? Can you carry this? Can you carry this? Can you carry this? So they're slowly adding stuff. So thank you so much for the support. Go support it down below. Uh, use that link. Um, and stuff. For those of the asking, that uh, gnome was cut on my Glowforge. If you love that gnome, just wait for August 1st, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Um, I know I have a ton of Cricut fans, so check down below on um, the sales. Right now, I do have a new Cricut code. It is KBCL. So Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life, just KB. CL that will be good for the next six months. So KBCL that will get you 10% off and free shipping. So um, you can start using that code right now. Right now they have 20% off iron on tools and paper. So if you're a Cricut Access member, you get an additional 10% off. That gets you basically 30% off. Use my code, get you another 10% off. It ends up being right around 37, 38% off, almost 40% off. Um but that's so cool, right? Okay, silhouette. For my silhouette fans, I need to turn on the air conditioning because I'm so hot. Just a sec. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. I feel already better. Okay, so... Um, do you guys want to know what it is right now for my silhouette fans? So, Silhouette America is having an amazing deal right now. Um, so, you definitely want to check it out. So, right now, they're having their Christmas in July. So you do need to use the links down below because they are specific and you need to use the code KK bundle. KK bundle will unlock these deals. Right now you can get um with the link down below, you can get a um black or white cameo for bundle which comes with the, the machine, holiday ornament, Gold metallic heat transfer, vinyl sample, hook tool. It's normally $360. It's on sale for $299.99, which is, you can see it right there. They also have something called the media bundles. These are awesome. So the first media bundle, you get temporary tattoo paper, gold scratch off sticker paper, clean, clear shrink wrap paper, adhesive magnet paper, adhesive stencil, $29.99. You can get um, a cut mat bundle. There are so many bundles right now for uh, their Christmas in July, plus 20% off their entire site. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Uh-oh, this car is trying to come out, but they can just deal with it. Um, I cannot stress this enough. Materials are universal. You can use materials in any machine. So Cricut materials can be used on Silhouette and Brother Scan and Cut. Silhouette materials can be used on the Cricut. And the nice thing about Silhouette is they actually have a lot of specialty materials that Cricut doesn't have. They have the temporary tattoo paper. They have the magnet paper. They have um, adhesive cardstock, which I guess Cricut kind of does now. Um, so you definitely want to check it out. Uh, I've heard the pro and the big one is supposed to be fourth quarter of this year. So I'm, I'm assuming here in September. Um, so take advantage of that deal. In order to unlock those deals, it is K. K bundle for silhouette. All right. All right. Um, so that is the sales 651 cricket silhouette. All right. I got all that out of the way. We got the gnome out of the way. Baby Yoda came to talk. I want to open a card. I got one card in the mail. Um, I want to open before I talk about the last things that's on my mind. This is from what is this? Oh, that's just I see. Oh. It says, until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unwakened. Dear Ken and Sean, although I only know you both through your YouTube craft and then the puppy videos, your grief and broken hearts permeate to my soul. I'm deeply sorry for your loss of Toby Joe with heartfelt sympathy, Linda Slately, June 19th, 2020. Look at that. Oh, look at that. She has a thing. I love all of these cards you guys have sent me. As many of you guys know, and that's what I want to talk about. Thank you so much for that card. That was so sweet. I need some of my ice water, just like. Okay, so as many of you guys know, on August 1st, 
I can't wait. On August 1st, we are launching this channel that you are currently watching is converting to Ken's beautiful, crazy life. I could not be more excited for this, and that is why we've been so busy. Um, we did delay it. We were going to have it launched this month, but it's Chocotour month. It's a new catalog, um, and I want to make sure I have, I'm there for my team. I want to make sure I'm there for my customers. I want to make sure that I get some videos made. Plus, the end of July, we're going to Salt Lake City. Fingers crossed that that still happens, um, but we are looking at going down there for about a week. So, on August 1st, we'll be launching Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life. I... I'm so excited. So I have debated for the last 18 months what I wanted to do. Um, I thought maybe I want a stamp line. Maybe I want my own ink line. But I told everyone I have to do something I'm passionate about. I have to do something I love. I have to do something that sparks a fire within me because you guys know me. I'm pretty transparent. I'm pretty open. If I don't like a product, um, I tell you, I have very high standards for product. So I decided to not do that. And when I decided not to do that, I also decided to completely change my whole format. And I'm super excited. I can tell you some hints. Um, the first hint is uh, we are... We're going to have a segment called How To Tuesdays. I'll let you know that. It's going to be probably twice every month. It will be a pre-recorded video. Um, and it will literally be called How To Tuesday. So if you are interested on hmm, how to put up a shiplap wall or how to get a studio ready or Sean's cooking recipes or how to do home decor or can't tell anymore. You definitely want to subscribe. That's just only one segment. We have a ton of other segments. This is completely different than anything we have done. I am both excited and terrified. Um, why? Well, let me tell you why. So this channel is going to hopefully go into the mainstream audience. We have been spoiled by you guys in the crafting world. You guys are amazing. You're nice. You're kind. You're beautiful. And then I look at what's happening in the YouTube world right now. For those of you who don't know, it's kind of scary. Um, one of my favorite creators has been completely shut down on YouTube, completely demonetized. His career, career could essentially be over because when you are on YouTube, you're at the becking call of YouTube. They can do whatever they want. And uh, you guys know I love Shane Dawson. And should he be held accountable for what he's done? Absolutely. I won't go into details. You can Google it to see what's going on. Um, he should absolutely be, be held accountable uh, for what he has done um, and said, regardless if it's in the past or not, you are big. As soon as you're on YouTube and a creator, you have to take um, action for what you have done. With that said, it's terrifying because he's getting ripped to shreds by even some of his loyal followers because that's just the general public. So I am a little concerned because we have to bring our A-game. <laughs> because we're even changing the way we film um, <clears throat> everything. And I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Like some people watch me and they're like, no, thank you. But um, yeah, so just the gist of it, I'll tell you the gist of it, is Shane Dawson um, in the very beginning of his YouTube career, did a lot of skits. He did a lot of um, jokes, segments, and stuff. He had a podcast, and he wasn't very mature in his content. So he would do a lot of impersonations, and unfortunately, one of those impersonations was Wendy Williams, which means he dressed up like Wendy Williams, which means he did blackface. And even though those videos have been taken down and he's apologized, it still is on the internet. Everything you do on the internet stays around, unfortunately. So it's being brought back up due to the Black Lives Matters. And he absolutely has said, I need to be held accountable and I know I'm going to lose everything. But still, it's scary because he could lose everything. They've completely shut down his channel. Um, but I'm excited. I'm ready for this. And I know um, at the end of the day, even if we don't make a penny off this, we're going to be having a blast. And we have, um, <laughs> Ali says, you don't have those closet, those skeleton closets. I am the worst liar. I would be telling you guys, I would be my worst critic. I'd beat myself up before anyone else. Um, and I tend to over exaggerate.
exaggerate things to begin with. So if someone just doesn't respond to me within like five minutes, I've already think that they hate me and block me and I'm the worst person ever. So, <laughs> but I'm even scared because like earlier today, I just even said like the word pedophile and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could get shut down. Like, it's just the culture we live in. We live in a culture now where everyone has to be very careful what they say and do. Do I think that we need to live in this culture? Absolutely. And not to get political, we definitely need the movement What that's going on right now with the Black Lives Matter movement. This is something that's needed to happen in our country for decades. Decades. Um, it's just unfortunate because part of that is stuff that people made bad decisions and are now being held accountable regardless if it's 10 or 20 years ago. Um, they did something and they need to be kind of held accountable. But we need this to happen in our country. I'm sorry, we do. Regardless of your if, of your views, I'm sorry, that's how I feel. I'm not sorry. I We need change and everyone needs to have human rights. Case closed. Anyways, that's what's going on Shade Dawson. But... Um, I'm really so excited uh, for this next journey. We have so much stuff planned, but it has been insanity. Um, we, we, just so you guys know, because I think I've really confused people. I'm really good at that. We are not touching our Chalk Couture side. I love Chalk Couture. I'm obsessed with it. I've been with Chalk Couture before Chalk Couture was even a company. Um, in fact, they just celebrated the third birthday. And Sean and I are so blessed to be part of such an amazing company and an amazing family. I have an amazing team. I have amazing Club Couture customers. I have an amazing life. And a big part of that is Chalk Couture. And that part, the whole reason I separated my Chalk Couture brand from Ken's Creations is I knew that if I changed my Ken's Creations, which even a year ago I knew I wanted to do something, I knew I didn't want it to affect my Chalk Couture. So that's why I rebranded and did everything on Chalk Couture as its separate entity. It will not affect that. But it will incorporate it. And I'm really excited because um, we love it. And I will give you a little bit of a hint. I'm just saying, if you love my Chalk Couture videos and you love a lot of our technique videos, you should be excited for the new channel and possibly a new product line. That's all I'm saying because I'll get in trouble. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, Jasmine's not here. I can get away with stuff. Oh my gosh. So, Heidi just said humanity is everywhere at when one part of suffering. I just downloaded an amazing album. Um, oh, I'm on my phone. I can't show you. It's by Thomas Bergeson, and it's called Humanity. And the first, well, the second song talks about humanity and human rights. It is awesome. The album is awesome. Um, yeah. So, um, I can spill no more. See, I'm already in trouble. Um, so anyways, uh, that's why I'm excited. Uh, I'm also still a little, I'm, I, I'm having moments. I've, someone reached out to me and said, Ken, you're not very active in your, uh, or I, I shouldn't say active. They said, we don't see you as much in your puppy group. I'll be honest with you guys. That group makes me kind of sad. I love that group. I love those puppies, but I miss them so much. You guys have no idea how much I miss those puppies. And I get to see a lot. Like, I get to see Hades every day. I get to see Luna all the time. I got to go over and see Kylo and Lainey. But they're getting so big, and they're not puppies anymore. Like, they're they're getting huge. And I just miss them. And what's so amazing about puppies is people say, like, puppies don't have memories. They do. When we go back and visit our dog from our first litter, which is, her name is Kinsey. She was pink. She went to my best friend, Katie. And when we go see her, who, I don't know if I can go see her now because she looks just like Toby Joe. But anyways, um, she still remembers us. Like literally these dogs will remember us. So I can't wait to see them. I've been trying to do like a meetup of all the pups, but we were going to do it last weekend. And then I thought, um, Sierra hurt her leg, but it was more she um, uh, had shots. It's so funny because now Sean asks, people ask during our Chalk Couture question, like lives, it's so funny. They'll be like, so tell me about something CC. And every, Sean's like, I think someone said, what does CC think about this? And Sean was like, 
she's a dog. I don't know. I don't know what she thinks about it. And they're like, no, Cece. And I was like, he's like, yeah, she's a dog. And then finally we're like, oh, you mean Chocotor. So we're so used to saying Cece now as a nickname that it kind of confuses stuff. But it's so cute, right? All the colors were named after Chocotor colors and Cece. Oh, anyways. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's check in with baby Yoda. He sold out. He sold out. He sold out. You can't get him. But that's okay. Maybe they'll come back. Check for your Sensi rep. Um, so uh, what else was... I had one other thing I forgot to tell you guys. What is it? Maybe I don't have one more thing. Um, let's see. Oh, do you guys want to see my logo? I can show you that. Uh, maybe I can. I don't know where it's at. It should be saved. Oh, no. Did I not save it? That's sad. Uh, hold, please. Let me see if I can find it. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, here's my logo. Okay, so Omar, you guys know Omar. I love Omar. Omar. How many times can I say Omar? Uh, Omar and I met a long time ago. He found one of my uh, Explorer reviews, bought the machine because of it, and then I got to know him because he's very talented. He's a dentist, and he's very talented. But he um, has always been an illustrator, and he started making kind of these kawaii, chubby-looking kind of characters, and I asked him to make a Chocotor avatar. So he made mine and Sean's avatar, and then I had him make Mandy's, and ever since then, it's gone crazy. He's made avatars for everyone. So, of course, I literally said, can you make an avatar for my new channel, which is the Ken's um, beautiful, crazy life. And I told him what I wanted. And, um, look at this. Oh my gosh. So number one, not only did I, um, did he do an, a nail job, but, or a, a perfect job on this. Um, but he was doing the logo right when I lost Toby and I want to immortalize Toby forever. So I made him part of my logo. Are you ready? It looks just like Toby Joseph. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at, he couldn't have gotten Toby perfect. Oh my God, that's my Toby Joe. Oh. So anyways, that's the new logo. It's me. Uh, and then I have my Ryobi Power tool. So that can kind of give you another hint of where our direction of our channel is going. And I got my juice. Um, I do have one being made for Sean in a chef outfit because one of our Tuesdays, how to Tuesdays will be cooking with Sean. Um, so we'll have an avatar made there. And um, Jazzy is kind of taking over the Chocotor side of doing quick videos. So a lot of people like the one minute and under video. So she's really into that. Um, and stuff so but we'll make her an avatar too uh so this will be my avatar for most stuff i do have an avatar for my youtube channel i'll show you that so this is what will be instead of ken's creations in the bottom right it will be that so <laughs> um does he have a page? He doesn't have a page. He does have a blog. It's called Awesome SVDs. Um, but he does have a group on Facebook where he takes commissions. And I think it's Omar Art. Like, if you look up Omar, like O-M-A-R-T, like O-M-A-R-T, that's where he does the avatars. But he's so busy now. He only does, I think, five a month. I think. I could be wrong. Oh, no. I think so. Um... So, anyways, I am so excited. I cannot wait. Um, just so you guys know, things that are not changing, my relationship with 651 is not changing. I adore them. I love them. For all my crafting needs, I go to them. Part of our new channel will still be crafts and machine reviews. So we're not leaving that world entirely, but I, want it, I wanted a one-place stop shop. So this way... If people come to me and say, hey, what inks do you use? Or what vinyl do you use? What 
um, Iron On Do You Use, I wanted to find a company that not only I believed in, but also believed in me and, and re, you know, uh, committed to me. Um, you can deduct your own drama on that, but not all companies are what they say they are. And uh, the minute they don't need you, they drop you. Not 651 Vinyl. I adore them. So that is where I'm going. They have the top products. They have the best products. That's all I use now. The rest of those other products have been sent out in mystery boxes and said goodbye to. So you guys are going to be seeing anytime I do crafts, we'll be utilizing their stuff. Sharon, I didn't say anything. I didn't say any brand names. What are we talking about? Um, so, <clears throat> actually, I will say something. Uh, that will be a video in itself, but best thing that's happened to me uh, because that happened a little over a year ago now. For those that don't know, um, Cricut dropped me as their product expert, um, and it hurt very much at the time, but guess what? That was the best thing that ever happened, and it literally made me put things into action and discover what I want to do. And there's going to be a time when Cricut is going to say, gosh, will you do this first? And I'll say, nope, because I have... I can't tell you because it's a hush hush. So, um, but yeah. Bye, Joanne. Have a good day. Uh, so anyways, um, I still, I'm not going to say anything. I do still love Cricut machines, so don't get me wrong. Um, I just wasn't happy with the way that was handled. But anyways, neither here nor there because we're looking bright to the future. Um, let's see here. Yes. I will tell you the big thing that's going to be on this channel, we're doing a lot with our Glowforge. We are Glowforging on marshmallows and chocolate and macarons. And I don't know, macarons? Macarons? I always, I always say it wrong. And we're going to show you how to etch it and stuff. I personally feel... And actually, my gut tells me that laser cutters are the next big thing in the market. Um, I know a lot of people love their paper crafting machines, and there is a place still for a Cricut and a Silhouette and stuff to cut paper and stuff. But for those that want to do what I, I'm going to be doing on my new channel, laser machines is where it's at. It is awesome. Um, and not just the Glowforge. I personally love the Glowforge. There's a ton of different options on the market. There are some that you can get from China for a very good price. Um, but they are... Not only are they amazing, but they are empowering people across the nation to start businesses and make money and do things that they've never dreamed they could do. And I love that. I love the fact that Sharon is opening a store because of it and, and selling stuff. I love the fact that it's making me change my channel and go in a completely different direction. Um, and it's awesome. I love it. So if you're interested in Glowforge, let us know because we will uh, definitely get you our link to save $500. So... Anyways, um, I'm going to end it with Baby Yoda and me telling you to have a happy and safe 4th of July. I hope um, you guys are in a state that isn't going backwards. It makes me sad that we were just barely poking our heads out and saying, hello world, and the coronavirus said, get back into your state <laughs> and don't come out yet. <laughs> and it's so scary because... Like, literally, I was so excited, and I was like, oh my gosh, hey, we gonna go see people, and I'm not going crazy. And now, I guess, numbers are spiking because people aren't being smart and wearing masks in public and washing their hands and stuff. So, if you do not have masks in your car, please get masks in your car. So, if you are in public, you wear them because it will protect you and stuff. Please. I swear, it will. So... What Glowforge do I have? I have the basic. I wish I would have gotten the Pro um, now because the Pro allows you to cut bigger items. But for someone that's doing smaller projects, um, a basic still is good. You're going to get a, a 10 by 20 area. So just to let you know, all the pieces for the, the um, little gnome guy was cut using the basic on one sheet. I had to manipulate it to make sure I could get it to fit on one sheet, which was a lot of work, but I got it. Um, and then you can buy your uh, uh, material pretty much anywhere and stuff. So it's basically just the maintenance of your mach machine and stuff like that and stuff. But anyways, um, if you do want uh, to get one of those gnome cutouts, check down below, fill out the form. If you already filled out a recreate form for the gnome cutouts, 
during my talkathon. You do not need to fill out the form. You already got one. I will be sending out an email um, to all of those people. But um, if you did not fill out a recreate form, um, let know. Oh, I forgot to tell you one last thing. That's what I was thinking of. Um, I'm also excited. We are going to be launching soon with the next catalog an option for people to request artwork to be made by me or Sean or Jazzy. So if we do a video and it's a project that you like, like we just did a video with um, uh, something about the game changed and it was inside of her or something and everyone was like, can you make that for me? We'll, we're going to actually have a website where you can go and um, I'll have limited quantities. Like I might say there's like three of them and you first come first serve, but we'll have an, a sheet to recreate items and stuff. So this way people aren't waiting until an auction. They can actually go and not worry because the big feedback we got on the auction was as much fun as it is. And it does raise a lot of money. Um, if an auction happens during a time where people just don't have the funds, they can't really bid because they don't have the funds and then they miss out. So I want it to be where people, if they like an artwork auction and they can't do it during the auction, but a month down the road, they're like, okay, I've come into some funds and I can buy that now, that they have that option and they don't have to, to forego something because of that, right? Because that's what we want. We want people to be happy and stuff. And I would have never dreamt that people would have even wanted any of my stuff in their house. So yeah, I'm learning as I go. Anyways, I love all of you guys. I'm going to go home because it is seven o'clock and I need to eat dinner and I'm hungry. Um, and um, I will be back next week with another Ken from the car with more little secrets. Um, make sure to use the links down below. That does help support our channel, which we are eternally grateful. And make sure to join all of our groups if you want to see puppies. Make sure you're in the McChess Manor group. If you are excited about bundles and kits and cutouts, make sure you're part of that new group, which is down below. Um, the Ken's official Facebook group will be changing its name. The group itself will stay intact, but that group will be updated to um, Ken's beautiful, crazy life. So once that happens, I will let you know. You guys will see it um, and stuff. So stay safe. I adore you. Thank you so much for having fun with me during Ken from the car. I love this. I look forward to it every week. I always try to find a way to make it happen. And I will see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.